Check out Paddy Power's new and exclusive kicker feature. If you enjoy a good spanking, add a kicker to your bet, and the more your team wins by, the more you win. Mobile only, 18plusgambleware.co.uk, TNC Supply. The Racing Post Football Postcast, I'm Dave Clark, joined by colleagues and uh, football betting geniuses, Mark Langdon and Dan Charles. Also got uh, Ian Griffin on the uh, line from our friends Paddy Power, and got three games to look at on Sunday, Ian, uh, kicking off with Middlesbrough versus Manchester United. Can you give us a show and your view on that game, please? Yeah, we make United 8-15, um, Middlesbrough 11-2 and the draw 3-1. Middlesbrough are probably, in my opinion, the worst team in the league. They scored 19 goals all season. I don't really see anything past United win. He seems to play um, Rashford through the middle. Um, but I don't know why. I think Martial will probably be better through the middle. But I think maybe March, uh, Rashford to score a 7-5 to five maybe looks a bit. Or you can get him on a 4-1 to one to score the first goal. And Mark, there was a hell of a lot of love for Middlesbrough at the start of the season, the way they were playing football and now being touted by Ian as the worst well, side in the league. Yeah, I mean, the, the Asian market liked them quite early on. I think they were controlling games, um, you know, and, and they actually were um, looking OK at, at the start of the season. But Karanka, um, he did the same thing last season, lost the plot a little bit and, you know, he walked out on them. Now he's... Yeah, he's calling out a few of the players. It doesn't look like a happy, harmonious dressing room and their performance against Manchester City um, in the FA Cup. You know, It's an FA Cup quarter-final and they've barely laid a glove on City. But they, they just seem to be so negative and so defensive in the way that they play. Failed to score in six of their last eight Premier League games, as Ian said. You know, 19 goals all season in the Premier League, only 11 at home. He fell out when the grade. I didn't even bring him off the bench in in that recent defeat at Stoke. I uh, no time does he ever seem to like put you know at least try and get back into the game. He, um, I was just looking at United to win to nil. I'm not I'm not huge on Manchester United. I mean, yeah, we make we make that seven to five as well. I think that that's definitely a bet, isn't it? United. Win yeah. To nil. Yeah. I mean, I. I mean, I'm not huge on United. Um, I, I thought they were pretty average against Chelsea as well in the FA Cup, but um, they, they they won't have to be special here. 19 goals all season, then relegation fodder? Uh, possibly, yeah. At the moment, I'd have them down as, as finishing in the bottom three. I don't think there's certainties to go down. Uh, obviously, in a bad run at the moment. I, I think United are too short here, actually. I, I, I just think an incredibly busy schedule at the moment. Got Rostov... You know, on on the Thursday, uh, the game going into it, it'll be their, when they play Borough, it's the 19th match of the year. It'll be Middlesbrough's 13th. So, there's a possibility that that you know a little bit of fatigue could come into play here. I thought they were, I know they were down to 10 minutes, Chelsea, but I thought they were a very tired performance in the, in the second half there. And and it might suit Borough. It's a big game. It might it might actually get them up for the game. I mean, they, they've had a couple of good results in big matches this season. Drawn at. Uh, Drawn away to Arsenal, drawn away to Manchester City, very nearly won at Manchester United, were leading and then two late, late goals, which uh, won the game for United there. So uh, I that, just. That, that was earlier on in the was season. Was earlier though, on the it, season. What do you, what do you think's gone wrong for them in the last couple of months, or is it just one of them things? No, no, they're not. They're certainly not playing as well at the moment. I, th I think the manager, uh, as you say, I mean, when things go badly, he doesn't seem to react to it uh, very well. But uh, I, I just think sometimes in this situation, a, a big game can, can be what it takes to get a better performance out of you. And uh, the, the, both teams are draw specialists. So the, the Ten draws for each in the Premier League at the moment. No other team has drawn as many as them two. So I just think three to one, the draw is, is reasonable. And quickly before we move on to the other two games, Ian, have you got a show for Middlesbrough to be relegated? Uh, we do have the relegation here. Uh, so Middlesbrough to be relegated. We currently make them uh, trees on. It's looking, it's looking a bit. Yeah, yeah they looking just don't a bit score goals, yeah, mm. and it's looking a bit cut adrift. I mean, it looked really tight at one stage, and and you know um, now Middlesbrough and Sunderland, you know, are going to have to really go some late on. Right, let's move on to uh, Spurs Southampton two fifteen kick off, and uh, I'll go to you, Mark Langdon, a Harry Kaneless Spurs. Yeah, um, I mean, I, I still I, the, the price has drifted. Tottenham opened up a lot shorter than what they're they're about to go off. Obviously, on the back of the, the Kane news, I mean, it didn't stop them, did it? I mean, to, against Mill and Mill were a decent League One team, probably would do okay, I think, in the Championship. I don't think there'd be relegation for them necessarily mm. in the Championship, and um, you know, Tottenham um, put six past them. However, and a um, spread of goals as well. There crucially. was a spread of goals, yeah, and I mean, all all of their front players have seemed to be playing quite well. However, um, I'm gonna, go, I can see Southampton scoring in the game, even if even if Spurs win, and I know that Tottenham have done very well defensively 
um, this season at White Hart Lane. But Gabby Adini's 100 to 30 to score any time. Um, and Southampton score, I think it's probably going to be him. I mean, he scored in his last seven matches for Southampton He's and impressed, Napoli. He? he has yeah. impressed and he scored different types of goals as well. Like he, the poacher one against Watford where he's capitalised on a mistake. I mean, he was unplayable for Manchester United in the, the League Cup final. Southampton uh, have had a, a bit of a breather. Um, Tot Tottenham obviously got, got a lot of games coming up as well. Not a, not a massive betting heat for me, but yeah, I just thought Gabby Adini, hundreds of 30 to score any time. Give you a run for your money. I was looking at the uh, first goal scorer market, Dan, and uh, Janssen's at four to one, obviously, <laughs> without Harry Kane. Not really doing it for me. Not, he takes no. pens, though. He no, will yeah. be on pens yeah, now. I mean, he, won't, he won't start the game. I mean, Jung Min Son will, will, will start the game. I, I, I think Gabby Adini will, 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 is the probably be the best. Uh, you know, forward on the pitch, uh, but uh, I still think Spurs will win. I, I, I just think the price has drifted uh, too much. I mean, you look at Spurs' home form uh, over the course of the season, bearing in mind that six, seven weeks of that they were out, Harry Kane, uh, any, anyway. Um, during that period, they won 2-0 at home to Manchester City in what was one of their best performances of the season as well. So they've dropped four points at home all season, Spurs. Uh, you know, they, after, after Chelsea, that's the, the best home record in the league. Um, Son, you know, was, was fantastic against Mill when he came on. You know, Deli Ali still playing well, scoring goals. Uh, Christian Eriksen, I thought, was superb again against Mill. I mean, playing, been been one of the unsung stars, I think, of, the, of, of, of Spurs in the last uh, couple of months. Uh, just seems to, to see every bit of movement, and he's involved in so many of the goals. Southampton, I watched them at Watford. Uh, Last time, and and they're, they're they're the opposite of what they were earlier in the season. They're now with Gabby Adina look great going forward, but with with uh, Van Dijk uh, injured and Font sold, they look dodgy at the back. They've conceded 16 goals in the last six games at Watford. Watford didn't really put them under a lot of pressure, but scored three and had chances to, to score more. So, I, I I think Spurs. This will be decided by the best defence. Spurs defence is far better than Southampton's, and that's why I really fancy them. So we just played 90 minutes, but yeah, you, yeah, supposed to win the game, yeah. And what show is that, Ian? Give us a quick show. So we have to score the four to six, four to six scores, nine to two Southampton, and 13 to five to draw. Yeah, but I just look, you can't be back in uh, sports at that price without Kane. Um, I remember like last September they lost Kane for ten games, seven out of them ten games were all like, t- uh, t- under two and a half goals. So I think that's the bet for me. Without Kane, they just don't score enough. So I think the under two and a half is probably the bet the bet here or maybe out of them ten games at O'Kane for them are also draws, so maybe the draw or definitely the under two and a half for me. I'm liking that Gabby Adini bet on it any time, hundred to thirty. Try and yeah, uh, hold that Rick, for us, Ian. It? Yeah, it does indeed. <laughs> it looks a Rick. He's not gonna be there, is it, <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's gonna be gone as soon as I go back to the desk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, let's move on to Manchester City, Liverpool. I'll stay with you, Ian. Um, give us a shot. I noticed that Paddy Powell top price about Man City. Yeah, my top price. Yeah, Liverpool have uh, never lost against uh, any of the top six on their club. Um, just looking at a good, good stat this morning. In the nine games between Klopp and Guardiola, there's never been a draw either. So, fancy goals in this game again. I just don't see Liverpool being beat by any of the top, four, uh, top six. They, uh, they just play into their hands, don't they? You just Other teams in the below just sit on the edge of their own box and teams seem to attack Liverpool and that seems to suit them with all their pace going in behind. So I fancy goals. Both teams will score, I think. And I think Liverpool will just shade it. So the both teams to score and Liverpool to win a five seems decent to me. And then uh, Paddy Power trying to get Man City in the book. Top price even money, your idea of a bet? Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I think City, uh, I fancy him strong for this game. I'll be back in City. I, 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 they're uh, 11 unbeaten going into the game against Monaco. I watched Liverpool against Burnley. Um, I, th- I, thought, stuff. I thought I thought they were uh, they were dreadful against Burnley. Uh, I, I thought, but I've never seen Burnley away from home control a game so much away. I mean, they lost the game two one, but really we're trying they... to hold the ball in the corner with five minutes to go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, and I, I just think the, the energy that you normally associate with Liverpool without Henderson, who is a very underrated player for Liverpool, it just isn't there. Apparently, he's not going to be back until after the international break. It's a big miss for them. They'll be slightly better at the back, by, by the way, because Lovren is expected to return. So that's that's a boost for Liverpool. But I just think that that City, the, the, City, the, the Liverpool midfield, the way it is at the moment, City are going to have far too much uh, in that area of the pitch. And, and I think around around evens uh, is a great bet, and I'll be back in them. 
not worried about the turnaround at all of his Champions League in the well, week. Well, it's Wednesday to Sunday, yeah. so, uh, you know, it's not a, a, that long a trip. Uh, it could you know, be a lot uh, put into you, you, tonight's game. Yeah, there could be. I mean, extra time you would think would be unlikely. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, um, no, I just think, I mean, obviously, it might be, make sense to wait and see if there's any injuries, things like that. But uh, if they come through relatively unscathed, uh, I think that evens is, is worth taking. Evens for you, Mark? Yeah, I, I mean, I think I'd probably be leaning towards City, but I, I, in Liverpool, I, I do respect Liverpool more in this type of fixture, as uh, Ian was, was saying, where they can play on the counter-attack and actually get the space for Coutinho. Firmino, who starts to press, wasn't available against Burnley. I think that they'll be better um, you know, in, in the front three um, positions as well. But I was... I'm looking to take the Man City defence out of the equation here. I'm going to... I was looking at over one and a half Man City goals, but I think I'm just going to go for Aguero any time. Before the Monaco game, six in his last five. Um, and yeah, I think he's been woken up by the fact that he was dropped for Jesus because uh, he was on a bit of a drought in between... Um, you know that that he, he he wasn't playing particularly well. I think I think it has perked him up having the, the the fret there and the quality that City have got from those sort of deeper positions with uh, Silver and De Bruyne picking holes in the Liverpool defence and also out wide with Sane and Sterling looking to get in behind the little cutbacks to Aguero. I I, I think I'd rather back Aguero to score um, than than maybe Man City to win just because of their defence sometimes and the game on Wednesday. So Aguero any time for me. Uh, I think it's around about the five to six mark. Yeah, five to six for any time pairs, yeah. Lovely stuff. Make sure you hold that 100 to 30, Gabby. Yeah, and Ian. Thanks for really your time. <laughs> no and, problem. Uh, and you, gentlemen. Uh, don't forget you can uh, rate us on the uh, iTunes, subscribe, and also on SoundCloud. Check out Paddy Power's new and exclusive Cash Card Plus, available to use online at ATMs or even down the local. Paddy Power, you beauty.